Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you uh, clicked the video, you're probably here to see how I set my kennel up for a relatively inexpensive multiple power source kennel fan. That's going to be a lot cheaper than some of the uh, commercially available options from like Roughland Kennels and Gunner Kennels. So uh, follow me and I'll show you what my kennel setup looks like. Um, it's pretty easy. All you got to do is head over to like Home Depot or Lowe's, get yourself like a Ryobi um, fan or that's just the brand I happen to use, but you can use any of those brands you want. It's basically just a small portable shop fan. Um, so what it's gonna look like, looks like this. Um, so like I said, all it is is it's a Ryobi fan. I'm sure you could use a different brand, but Ryobi is what I chose. Um, this is a $50 unit, it only costs $50. Uh, and see here, the attachment points are simply zip ties. In total, I'm using four zip ties to keep it together, and it hasn't had any issues. It's pretty stable, and as you can tell, if you live in a really hot environment, you could put another fan unit right here. So now I did say it was a multiple power source. So what we've got going on is these use a Ryobi battery. So this is going to be the expensive part. Two of these Ryobi batteries, these larger ones, cost me um, close to $100, but with this single large one, I get about six plus hours, six to eight hours of runtime. Um, so the fan has two modes. We've got power one, which is what I generally run it on, and I've got over six hours of constant use before on this mode. And then if it's really hot out, I'll put it on the second mode. And with this battery here, I've gotten three to four hours on that mode, um, but it hasn't ever died on me. It's just so long as I've ever ran it with it. So now what we do have, so like I said, multiple power source. You can get different style batteries from Ryobi for it. Um, I recommend just getting the highest value or uh, honestly it's the most expensive one, but you're going to get most power out of it. But like I said, it is a multi um, power. So you can either plug the batteries in here or you can put an extension cord in here and then you can either plug it into the house, plug it into the camp power, a generator, or uh, if you have one of those big like goal zero style battery boxes, you can throw one in there. And that'll run your uh, fan for as long as it goes. Now, uh, the downside to these smaller batteries, besides the runtime, this maybe will get you three hours of runtime, uh, is you can push this button here. And it'll show you, it's not showing up in here. But it'll show you these will light up. So each one of these will light up and it'll tell you how much power you have and it's roughly a 25%. Hey, so if you think this is a cool idea, um, if you, you're gonna go ahead and do this, uh, even though you're only like halfway through the video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And uh, if you, you know somebody who needs to throw one of these fans on their kennel for their dog, share it to them so that you can get it out to them. Um, the dogs will really appreciate it and we don't want the dogs getting injured due to heat. So I've had this on my Dakota 283 uh, kennel Mm, probably three months now. It's gotten wet. These batteries have gotten wet in the rain. I left them out by accident um, and I've had no issues with them. So overall, like I'm only $150 into this and that gives, I've got three batteries, one I had from a drill um, and I have a fan. So overall, it's pretty good. Uh, no issues with it. So like I said, I had no, I've had no issues with the fan at um, this point. My dog has a beard, pretty long hair, and uh, he hasn't got caught in it or anything like that. Uh, it's not loud, it's not noisy, it doesn't seem to bother him at all. Um, if you go on like Roughland, get one of their fans, or you get one of the uh, Gunner Kennel fans, you're looking at $200 to start, and that's going to be without a power source on it. The Gunner fans cost, I think they're about $300. So you could get two of these fans, two sets of batteries, and you, you'd be able to cool your dog down a lot more. Um, for a better price so if you live in an area where uh, it gets hot so based off this last summer anywhere in America uh, I'd highly recommend you go ahead and grab one of these so we're moving into August uh, everywhere in the United States this year has been pretty freaking hot and uh, if you don't have a fan for your dog because of the price tag you know, you're looking at $300 plus battery source um, almost a semi-permanent installation maybe with some of the other models go ahead head to Home Depot head to Lowe's or wherever, pick yourself up one of these Ryobi fans or a different uh, brand if you want, depending on what batteries you already got. Go ahead, pick up two of the larger batteries for about $100. It'll come with a, get yourself a charger, 
slap on one of these fans, maybe two if you live in like Arizona or you live in California on the West Coast, somewhere where it gets really hot, or if you're in the deep south, if you're on in Georgia or Florida, wherever you're at, one of these fans will come and help help them. It'll keep your dog cool, keep your dog happy, it'll keep your dog from overheating. Um, especially if you get them wet first, you wet them down, get this fan blowing on them, they'll be pretty happy. Uh, our dog goes right to sleep in it and he doesn't have any issues. So definitely pick one of these things up if you don't have one. Um, if you do have a fan, if you're using like a Gunner Kennel fan or Roughland fan or something along those lines, let me know what you like about it. Uh, if you've used this style before, let me know down below. Uh, if you like this video, it helps you out. If you're going to head over to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up a fan to hook your dog up, let me know down in the comments. Hit the like button and if you know anyone who needs to get one of these for their dogs because uh, their dog needs to cool down, needs some airflow while they're driving, please share this video. Help the dog out and let them be a happier pup. Thanks for watching. As always, stay versatile. I appreciate you guys.